Hi everyone, welcome to World Trending. For today's installment, I'll be showing you five prison escapes that were so close yet so far to freedom. Have you ever tasted a meal only to have it snatched from you just as you're about to start eating? If yes, then you probably have an idea of what it is to almost escape from prison but find yourself right back in the cell because of a slight slip up. The men in this video knew that prison breaks were possible and attempted to break out of prison at one time or another. Some even went as far as walking out of prison. Well, I guess they were not destined to make it out of prison at that time they attempted escaping. If not, what would really make a perfect plan crumble just when it was almost over? Now, if you like these videos and want to see more, then make sure you leave us a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications to be the first to watch all our new and exciting videos. I will be replying to every comment on this video as well, so good luck. Number 5. James Russell Ward Locked Up in the Olympic Corrections Center Close to Forks His escape from prison quite looked like an achievement and put him in the class of some of the most hardened criminals. However, this status was very short-lived as he was caught when he was just about 14 miles from the prison. Well, how in the world did that happen? If you're thinking that James was caught in the same way he left prison, you are wrong. He survived the first day of his escape from prison, and it really seemed like he was never going to get back there. However, he was mistaken. Planning a jailbreak is not a task for the people that are not smart. So it can easily be said that James Russell Ward is very smart. While it was smart of him to have escaped from prison, allowing himself to get caught did not portray him as a very bright person after all. So how exactly did this happen? Well, after James made it out of prison, he did not take off his prison suit. A dumb move in my opinion. You probably share that same one. With his prison uniform on, he made it into the woods and knocked on the door of a cabin. It would have been a perfect day for James if he had met a random person in the cabin. Unfortunately for him, the man at the cabin worked as a guard at the prison and was simply off duty. Even if I end the video at this point, you can tell exactly what happened to James. If at this point you think he was able to escape, you are wrong. The prison guard that was off duty for the day was smart enough to get James back to prison. James did not just knock on the cabin because he wanted to relax or have a change of clothes, he simply wanted to use the phone. On recognizing James' uniform, there was a bit of a struggle and James tried escaping. Although he escaped successfully, after the guard reported the incident, he was apprehended. Number 4. Andrew Wilson Breaking out of prison might not be the best idea. Nonetheless, most people attempt breaking out of prison when they have to spend a long time there and are not sure this is something they want to live with. Well, Andrew Wilson is not like most people that have attempted prison breaks. Why on earth would anyone that just had a day left in their prison sentence attempt making an escape from prison? I don't have an answer to this question, and if I ask several people on the street, I'm sure I will not be able to get any reasonable answer. With one day remaining on a sentence, a 21-year-old prisoner, Andrew Joseph Wilson, carried out what could be termed one of the most foolish and impatient actions of a prisoner. Andrew was on work release when he decided to escape from prison. He did this by running off with a vehicle that was parked at Anderson County. Although Wilson made an attempt to escape, we're not sure what physical condition he was in while attempting to escape. Nonetheless, he really had no reason to escape from prison. He was only serving 20 days in prison, which was technically less than three weeks. So why was he in a hurry to get out of there since he knew he was going to get out eventually? Even worse is the fact that he had just a day remaining on his sentence. So instead of doing just one more day, he was given more time as a result of his truck theft and attempted escape. Number 3. Kenneth Berman Kenneth generally believed that the prison is not for lazy people, as lots of people in the prison are physically fit. While lots of people in the prison might be ripped and have a tough look, we can still categorically tell you that not everyone in the prison is in the best of physical condition. One of the many prisoners that we are not sure of what physical condition he was in while in prison is Kenneth Berman. Before getting into prison, we can almost certainly say that Kenneth had heard a lot about prison breaks and thought it was something he could attempt without flexing his muscles. Kenneth got word that a fellow inmate was about to be released from the Hamilton County Jail, so he cooked up a perfect plan to impersonate this prisoner at the security post. His plan was to walk towards the post and claim he was the one to be released. This seemed so easy and he would not even have to lift a finger. Regardless of how easy this seemed, it was not meant to work out because of a difference in skin color. The prisoner to be released from prison was a black man. 
Kenneth, on the other hand, was white, so I don't see how this was meant to work without Kenneth getting into any trouble. After his attempt at getting out of prison failed with criminal impersonation, I'm quite certain Kenneth got charged with attempted escape and criminal impersonation. We're probably used to black men getting in trouble because of a deliberate attempt at breaking the law. Well, who says black men are the only ones getting in trouble with the law? White men also get into trouble with the law at the expense of black men. A perfect example of this was when a white man posed as a black man to escape from prison. While this did not seem like a plan that was going to be successful, I can only imagine what the white man was thinking when he did this. To make his way out of prison, Kenneth went as far as signing a couple of bonds. He did not stop at that, he also signed some property documents. After this, he made his way to central control for his final verification. This was supposed to be the end of his troubles. Nonetheless, it was just the beginning of another round of troubles as officers carrying out final verification discovered he was white, whereas the prisoner to be released was black. Number 2. Ronaldo Da Silva There are times prison escapes are planned in the prison. Other times, someone outside of the prison facilitates the entire move without even having a perfect idea of what they're doing. The latter is exactly what happened in the case of Ronaldo da Silva. After getting a visit from his girlfriend, Ronaldo got some female clothing and with this, he was ready to walk out of prison. After meeting with his girlfriend, Ronaldo and his girlfriend came to a conclusion that it would be a great idea for him to walk out of prison dressed like a woman. So to make this plan a reality, she visited him with a wig, some makeup and a dress. If you think so, you're wrong, it was almost perfect. With his clothing fully on, Ronaldo made his way out of the prison. First, he was able to successfully go past a couple of guards without being spotted. Unfortunately, he was not able to make it to the exit point. This was expected as he probably had never spent time walking like a woman or walking in women's clothes. To the average person, Ronaldo was simply unlucky. Nonetheless, his unsuccessful attempt at making it out of prison could also easily be his fault. This is perhaps the most unfair statement you've come across in a long while. However, if they had not decided that he would wear heels, he perhaps would not have had to struggle with his gait. Everyone knows you don't learn to walk on heels overnight. Over the years, we have come across a couple of prisoners that we are certain are not as smart as fifth graders. Regardless of the number of dumb criminals we've come across, we can easily say that a lot of them are not as dumb as Chris Crago. While Chris successfully broke out of prison, he did not realize there was more to staying free than simply breaking out. So in simple language, while he was successfully out of prison, he did not have the decorum needed to live like a free man. Although we're not certain how Chris made it out of prison, we know he found himself in Terre Haute, Indiana. As someone that smart enough to make it out of prison, we simply assumed the man would know better than staying on social media. Well, we were mistaken. After breaking out of prison, Chris could not wait to let his friends know he was out. So he logged in on Facebook and proceeded to make this known on Facebook. Unfortunately, giving his friends an idea of his whereabouts was the same as letting the authorities know where he was. He made it so easy for the police to pick him up as he even put up his own work schedule on Facebook. Thanks for watching this video. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please click on the subscribe button. This way you can keep up with our next video.